I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to convert degrees to radians and we have one more criteria here that is let's read the question it says convert to radian measure write your answer as a principal angle positive value of angle measured counterclockwise from positive x-axis right so what we have to do is we have to report this angle in degree as angle in radians but with positive sign okay so that is the question I like you to pause the video answer and then check with my solution so first one which we'll do is we'll convert minus 120 degrees to radians now when we say minus 120 degrees what does it mean it means we have to move clockwise correct and we know this is 90 degrees for us so 30 more right so kind of like this that should give us minus 120 degrees that means this angle is what we're talking about and this angle for us is minus 120 degrees correct we are in quadrant 3 now the question is we need to convert this to radians and then write it as a positive angle that means we need to write this angle as as a principal angle which is measured always from the initial arm along the x-axis right so what we can do is we can convert first degrees itself to principal angle degrees and then talk about radians right we could do that the second possibility is we can directly convert it to radians as negative and then figure out what should it be the other way both ways work right so so it's up to you what we will do is we'll adopt one method here the other one on the other side okay now if it is minus 120 then the principal angle should be how much it should be 360 minus 120 if we are measuring from the other side correct so we take away that much we get 240 degrees so this angle should be 240 degrees correct so we can convert 240 degrees to radians and then write our answer conversion factor to radians is you have to multiply by pi and divide by 180 degrees since we know if you start from here 0 this is pi or this is 180 degrees both are same things perfect so let's convert now 240 to radians so we get 240 degrees times pi divided by 180 degrees now this could be simplified right so dividing by 10 get rid of zeros both can now be divided by 6 6 times 4 is 24 6 times 3 is 18 and then we can write this as equal to 4 pi by 3 see that is in radians correct so we get our answer as minus 120 degrees is 4 pi by 3 radians right radian you know is a ratio even if I don't write radian it implies it is radians right correct so I hope you understand and appreciate how we got this answer let's do minus 45 now you can pause the video answer it and then check with my solution when we say 45 minus it means what it means is kind of dividing this coordinate in diagonally right so it really means that we're talking about angle which is clockwise 45 degrees right so this is minus 45 degrees for us we can write this in radians you can convert as we did here conversion factor will be as we said so let's do it the way we did earlier and that is minus of 45 degrees times pi divided by 180 degrees correct now both of them can be divided by 5 right so even we could divide them by 9 right so let's divide and see what do we get so if I divide 45 you can 
directly also divide 180 by 45 so what do you get 180 divided by 45 is equals to 4 right so you get pi by 4 minus since this is minus now remember the question is write your answer as a positive angle so we know this angle is minus pi by 4 so how much is from the other side that is what you need to figure out got it it's kind of easy what we can do is we can divide our plane in set of 45 degrees right and then we can figure it out so from this side if I have to go what I'm trying to say 145 245 345 like this 4 5 6 and 7 do you see that 7 pi by 4 45 really is pi by 4 correct so we could write this as 7 pi by 4 right so that becomes our answer principal angle here is 7 pi by 4 alternate way to do it is we know the total angle is 2 pi perfect so we could also do it I'm showing you different methods it will help you we could do 2 pi minus pi by 4 correct so that gives you 4 times 2 8 so we get 8 pi minus pi over 4 which is 7 pi by 4 right so either way you get the same answer so let me write this as 7 pi by 4 remember this video is slightly different from previous ones here we are reporting the angle as a positive angle not as negative angle perfect minus 45 degrees could be written as minus pi by 4 but we need to write the principal angle which is 7 pi by 4 correct so you could adopt any of the methods which we have discussed here but i hope you find it simple and very useful thank you and all the best